Good evening, True Chakra Terror Talk fam. Tonight we're going to be doing a reading on Rhonda Casto. She was 20 years old when she was murdered. Um, she was born on July 2nd of 1985 in Galveston, Texas. She died on March 20, uh, March 16th of 2009 in Hood River, Oregon. She lived with her mother, Julia Ann, Sin Julia Ann Simmons. And then uh, about 2005, there was a ad put out on Craigslist for a roommate. Stephen Nichols answered that ad, and um, there was about a 10-year age gap. He was 30 between him and Rhonda, but he did pursue her for about three years. They ended up having a daughter named Annie together, and they do feel that he kind of love-bombed her immediately, and he pursued her for those four years, and they planned to get married. At least that is what Rhonda had told her mother, and she did agree with that at the time. But on March 16th of 2009, uh, Rhonda made a comment that if she had passed, that it was either on purpose or... Um, that he had, that he would have killed her on purpose. Now Steve is saying that Rhonda said if anything ever happens to her, then he wanted uh, she wanted him to take care of their daughter. So um, it began he, according to him when they went on the hike that day. It began to rain. He said that he was worried about her because she was into using heavy drugs. But um, when they did took the uh, autopsy, the only thing they found in her system was a little bit of uh, traces of THC, which means she did not take it that day. And so, um, he refuses to explain how she fell whenever he was asked. Um, whenever he did finally make the 911 call around 6.30, the police show had showed up. He had no emotion. He was not in shock whatsoever. And, uh, he said that he had hiked, uh, down to try to help her for, and tried to revive her for about an hour, but he was so tired that he fell asleep on her, and that's why it took so long for him to call the police, is what he said. So, um... He was very matter-of-fact, no emotions, and he was very upset, actually, because he felt that he, the EMS should have been attending to him to him before Rhonda because he felt that he had hypothermia, and Rhonda was already passed, so he was upset about that. So that was an odd uh, red flag, obviously. Now, um, he said that he was going to propose to Rhonda, but when they asked about seeing the ring, he said that he must have dropped it on the trail. He couldn't find it. So on the autopsy, it stated that it was consistent with the fall, but... Um, not a consist not completely consistent with foul play other than being pushed. Um, traces of THC were not um, again found that day in her hair, so he was not telling the truth when he said that she was smoking marijuana that day. So um, he said he then says she jumped because she had weight problems, so he did change his story. He said that she felt disgusting and that he lost a large amount of money and he took uh, out a million dollars on a, a life insurance policy on her actually before this happened. So the family said she did have anxiety, but it was managed. And so they don't think that she jumped or anything like that. And that um, they did do a sting operation, but he never admitted to anything. Two years, two years had passed and then uh, there was a standstill, a sex, or, uh, a sex offender for uh, third charges. And not enough evidence to charge him. So they released him on parole. They had arrested him for uh, that. But there was not enough proof. So in 2014, they had new DNA. And then uh, he had a plea deal of guilty to a negligent homicide. So he admitted to that. So um, he said that um, they indicted him for murder. He was in uh, China at the time, so they uh, tricked him into coming back into the U.S., for, and then they charged him with first-degree murder and assault, uh, or sexual assault of a minor. Because I want to say, I think I remember they said that he had had sex or intercourse with her sister when she was like 15 or something like that. I, I mean, don't quote me on that, but I want to say that that's where the sexual assault, assault charge came in because he was having a sexual relationship with um, her sister, her younger sister. So, um, they did a simulation of her falling off the cliff, and they said that for the way for her to have fall at the, the gravity and how fast she fell, that she would have had to have been pushed from behind. So, uh, in 2018, the judge terminated, um, Steve's right to, um, the, the to Annie. And like I said, obviously, because he was, he's in jail. So, and we're going to go ahead and get started and see what Rhonda has to tell us about what was going on that day and what was Steve really doing. All right, so the decks that I got out tonight to do this reading is going to be the um, Tarot Grand Lux by Sir Marchetti and then also the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore. Then we have The Universe Has Your Back 
And that one is by uh, Gabriel Bernstein. And then we have the Osho, Zero, Osho Zentero, excuse me. And then the Sarah Machete Fortune uh, Telling Duck. So, and then I'm pretty sure that's the only ones we're using tonight. So we're going to go ahead and see uh, what it is that she can tell us what was going on that day. We're going to put down some Florida water. So this should break any um, lies or anything else that's been told. <clears throat> I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. I greatly appreciate it. If y'all haven't subscribed yet and y'all um, do like these type of readings, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell. And it will let you know when I go live in the future for readings like this or when I upload other ones like this. So, um, again, I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. And then let's go ahead and get started and see what Rhonda has to let us know about what was going on the day that she passed and was murdered. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Grand Lux. I start our Teddy. Because this is going to be the beginning before um, anything really gets too deep. Before she realized what was going on. I'm actually going to spray this down too just because I don't want too much negative energy. It's Palo Santo water. Alright. So let's go ahead and see what it is that Rhonda Casto had dealt with the day that she passed. Like I said, again, she was born on July 2nd of 1985 in Galveston, Texas, and she died on March 16th of 2009. She was murdered by um, Stephen Nichols on Hood River, Oregon. We're going to ask for her to come in with her spirit guides, any ancestors, guardian angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, so we can get a clearer picture on what was going on that day. I'm just going to bring in Source and any other ancestors and guardian angels again. And pray to keep us safe during this reading. Alright, so we're going to find out what was going on in the day, because obviously I don't think she knew what he was going to do, so we're going to find out about the hike that already came out. So the Page of Pentacles, so this would be an earthly thing, so he was, they wanted, he wanted to go on a hike. Like, he had already planned what he was going to do, so he was, and he was very, in a very immature energy, which is the Page. So the Page is immature, it's an earthly offer, and that's where they were, they were outdoors, she was on the cliff whenever he pushed her off. So she is saying, yes, he, he did plan that, and that was an immature energy. So let's go ahead and see now how she felt when he pushed her. This is not how she felt. This is how he felt. Um, this is going to be, um, even though this is her sign, it's it's um, saying that he felt when he pushed her that he was going to have a brand new start without her. Um, he thought that he was going to be able to get rid of the Ace of Cups and that he wasn't going to have to worry about it anymore. Now, it's not dumped out, but that is the energy she's giving off for that card. So, he came in an immature energy, offered her, let's go on this hike, and the whole time it was a setup. And he knew it. She didn't, obviously. But he did. So, let's go ahead and see. Okay, sure, he said in the near future. Um... He has, uh, I think, tried to, he, well, he's changed the story numerous times, so it is an action with the wands, and so it's kind of aggressive, it's, it's in reverse, so it's him coming forward and trying to um, act a certain way, like I said, maybe him changing his story, and then, you know, taking out the insurance policy, uh, things like that, but he is caught, so he's kind of like, that energy has to dissipate because he can't keep doing it where he is. But she is saying that is what he, you know, he's pissed off that he can't, that he, he's mad that it, he's in jail. So whenever that day they went on the hike, pretty much right away, I think she started getting a bad feeling. Because you can see over here, she thought it was going to be the two of them having a great time. But something happened. I don't know if there was somebody else involved, because that's her sign again. So she's showing up again for herself as the Cancer. 
I don't know what sign he is. Why is the Ace of Cups here for the day? Um, because he came in and then I was sore. So he came in aggressive and he was ready to kind of take her out of the picture. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why is the uh, not a page of... Yeah, why is the page of wands here too? Because of the fool. So she's saying he's very much of the full energy. I don't I don't know if he's a fire sign because there's a, a couple of wands now. But um she is saying that he's carrying the full energy, which is kinda like brand new. It's 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 a very it can be a very immature, naive energy. And again, I, I feel like she's saying he's very immature and naive, and that's why he's the page in reverse, because that's what that means. It's the page is a naive immature energy. So for the day that she passed, um, a bunch of secrets were released. And that was basically, it, I think, about the fact that he was not what he claimed to be as far as her lover and wanting to the best for her and wanting to be with her and take care of her that, that came um, out very quickly and the police noticed very quickly that he was lying. So I think that's what that's about. Why is the Knight of uh, Swords here in reverse for the day that you, well, the moment that you pass? She was saying that I think for him, he felt like making, by getting rid of her, that he was going to release himself from this Eight of Swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Like I said, and he thought that once he released that energy, that he would be back to being able to have a happy home. This, again, this is more fire signs, uh, Gem uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So, we have quite a bit of air, fire, and water. So, why is the fool here? Here's more earth, so the seven of pentacles. So, in your future... She's saying he's basically in this immature, naive energy, thinking that no matter if he's in jail or not, that he's basically going to try to start a brand new harvest. I don't know if he thinks he's going to get out. I don't know if he's trying to appeal or what he's doing. Um, I actually didn't look into what happened to him after he was sentenced, so I don't know what's going on um, with him in jail, but <clears throat> they are saying that he's trying to restart something there. So let's go ahead and see what happened again. Now this is going to be when she passed, for sure. So this is going to be the darker side of it with the steampunk tarot from Barbara Moore. So it's going to give us a little more clarity into his thoughts and why he did this. So we're going to ask for her spirit guides to come back in with his spirit guides. My spirit guide, source, archangels, and anything, um, all ancestors, anybody else that can help us get a clear reading on this. So we're going to pray for our guardian angels to protect us during this reading. So I'm going to ask her again what happened when they went on the hike, when she passed, and how she feels now. Let's go ahead and see why the um, page of coins is here for the hike. Because the Queen of Cups. So, again, this is her. So, he's looking at her as she's an like she's not what he truly wants. That she's a bit aggressive because she's in reverse. So, he feels that she's manip like manipulative. At least that's what he told people. That she was manipulative. That she wasn't what she said she was. Or she wasn't what she claimed she was. Like, she was supposed to be this big model. But that she wasn't as big as she was claimed to be. I don't know. I just feel like he badmouthed her a lot. That's how she's making me feel. I, I feel like he, like, he discredited, like, discredited her work a lot. And I think that hurt her feelings a lot. So the Ace of Cups is, like, for how she, you know, the passing. The Five of Pentacles. So it kind of brought her out in the cold. So I'm kind of starting to feel like when she passed, it wasn't like she was relieved from the situation. But she was almost like she was relieved to be away from him. Because of the way he treated her. He treated her so bad. He was the knight of wands or the knight of swords in reverse. I mean, he was very ugly to her. So, um, then we have the full in reverse or the page of wands in reverse. And that's the independent, uh, six of pentacles. So, he's basically naive because he's wanting us an equal balance of give and take in the earthly realm. Like, he wants to have back his freedom and have, like, the equal balance of give and take, but he's not going to have it because he is a murderer. So why is the Five of Cups here for the day that they went on the hike?
All right, so the Page of Pentacles stepped in again. So this is more Earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn stepping in with the Six of Wands. More Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So they felt with the uh, Page of Pentacles. They were, Again, here's the Page of uh, Pentacles again. So she was heartbroken because he gave her this offer. Same offer. Same card. Like I said, they're just different, you know, artwork. But they both are the Page of Pentacles and Coins. So, but whenever he did that, he felt victorious for doing what he did to her. And she felt heartbroken with the Five of Cups. She felt all these cups were dumped over and spilt over his behavior. And that he had no remorse over it. So, why is the Knight of um, Swords here in reverse? Because the Magician in reverse is just saying the date whenever he, you know, pat, whenever she passed, he did. He lied. He kept saying that, um... First she jumped and then she fell and then he lost the ring and then all this stuff. So she kept saying he was lying. He was using every element he could when he got to the cops to try to make it sound like it wasn't really just, you know, it was like, it wasn't, it really was an accident. So with the eight of swords in reverse and the four of wands, he was not ready to let go with the four of pinnacles of what he thought he deserved in the earthly realm. And he felt that she was getting in the way. So let's go ahead and see why the Page of Pentacles is here. The Page of Pentacles is here is because the Two of Cups secrets were released about lovers. So I think with it being underneath the Page of Pentacles with the Five of Cups and the Moon next to it in the victory, it is showing that he felt very victorious that he was going to do what he was going to do after he did it. And then with the Six of Cups, or the Six of Wands, you have the three, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know if he was talking to somebody else or if he was ever proven to talk to somebody else. But I kind of get an energy of he was maybe talking to somebody else, to be honest. I don't know if that's true or maybe he just started. But there was some kind of other thing going on. Because there's another person's energy here. It's not just them two. Now, I'm not saying they're here heavily, but it's almost like he was obsessed with them. They might not even have known about it. <laughs> and then again, um, with the fool, you have the six of swords. So basically, he's the fool, and he's got the six of swords. So he's moving forward with the full energy because he is an idiot, basically. And so he's trying to have a brand new harvest where he is. But he's not going to have a brand new harvest. It's not going to be good because of what he did. Yeah, he has no strength. So his harvest is going to be spoiled. Leo. Uh, fire. So let's go ahead and do um, the Osha Zen. And then we'll do the fortune telling. And then the universe has your back. I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. If y'all have not subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if y'all did. We do um, tarot giveaways. And then we also do lives where you can ask questions in live time. Um for discounted prices or you can also go to my about section if you're interested in having a private reading for yourself but again if, um, I greatly appreciate y'all clicking on the video if you've enjoyed it um, and you're interested in seeing um, more content in the future whenever it is released like I said if you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell I would greatly appreciate it so we're going to pull a few more Osha Zen tarot cards to see how what um, I use them as oracles So she is saying she was innocent and playful. So when this they went on this hike, it was supposed to be an innocent and playful thing. And that's how she felt about it. But um, she's saying there needs to be more consciousness. So now she's talking a little about something else because she said we are the world. Because the world's going to crap, to be honest. And I'm going to say it just like that because it is. And so um, that's just the second part of a message to the collective. The first part's just what she felt about the situation. The second part was a message for the collective. So let's go ahead and pull um, one of the Sarah Marchetti, the fortune telling deck. And she see what she has to say about that. We'll finish up with the uh, universe has your back. And we'll do the scene bowl and, of course, the um, staging out. Oh, and then we have the pendulum bowl as well. We're 
find out what was going on the day of the hike, when she passed, how she feels now. Couple three for each row, the day of the hike, how you were going on the hike, how you felt, how you felt around the hike, how did you feel around the hike. Okay, so she felt lovers going on the hike, but right away she felt um, unexpected income. So, yes, again, there was something about money. He did also uh, get the insurance policy on her. Like I said this was lovers. This was for when they went on the hike. That's what she thought it was, was for them to be lovers. But, again, he had uh, taken the life insurance policy out on her. She didn't know that. And then um, he got great fortune in reverse. Well, he thought he got great fortune, but it's in reverse. So that means he got busted, and that was the main reason that helped him get busted. So what is he? what is he feeling now? He is a thief in reverse, which means he has been caught for the thief that he is because he made, took the life insurance policy out on her and he thought that he was going to get away with murdering her. And he did not. That's over how the universe has your back. So this is just going to be more of a positive um, message from Rhonda for the, uh, the universe and the collective as a whole. Thank you, Rhonda, for coming in with your spirit guides to give us some clarity on the situation. We greatly appreciate it. I want to thank your spirit guides as well as mine and source. So let's see what she has to say with the universe has your back. All right. So she is saying... I choose to learn through love. So she is saying that what happened did not taint her as far as how she learned love. When I'm in alignment with the universe, with love of the universe, peace cannot be disturbed. So she is saying whatever happened with this relationship, whether it was a love relationship or not, it did not disturb her peace. Obstacles and detours are detours in the right direction. So she's saying this obstacle that came about was a detour, even though it wasn't what she wanted. It helped her move away from the negative energy because I don't think that he would have let her regardless. And then when I think I've surrendered, I've surrendered more. So that's what I'm saying. I think he, he messed with her mind a lot. So I think that's all she's saying. She <clears throat> He played with her mind. So let's go ahead and use the pendulum. Ask a few questions real quick. So we're going to ask Rhonda if she's here with her spirit guides. So, yes, yeah, she is. Did he purposely push you off the cliff? Was it was his conviction correct? Did he purposely push you? Yes. Was it for the money? Was it for the insurance policy? Yes. Did you know he was going to push you off? Did you feel it coming or did it feel weird? Did he feel different that day? No, he didn't. So that means he planned it, obviously. And we know that because he didn't have a ring, but... Did he ever plan to really propose to you? 
No, he didn't. Are you at peace where you are now? Yes, she's at peace. Is there anything else I can ask for? Do you plan to reincarnate in the near in the, in the future at all? Or are you happy where you are? She's going to reincarnate. Alright. So. That is going to be the Rhonda. Or Rhonda. I'm sorry. That is going to be the reading for Rhonda Castle. So again she was 20 years old. She was a model. And she was born on July 2nd of 1985. In Galveston, Texas. She died on March. Was murdered on March 16th of 2009. In Hood River, Oregon. So and she was murdered by Stephen Nichols. And he admitted to it. So, um, well, he never admitted to anything, actually, but, um, he did admit to a plea deal that he was guilty of negligent homicide. So, um, they convinced him to come back from China, you know, so again, this is going to be the Ron uh, reading for Rhonda. So I want to thank y'all for, um, being here. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, light the sage. In the Apollonian shell with the Paul Santos. I'm gonna cleanse a little bit real quick. We'll just do this to cleanse the area that we're in to make sure there's no negativity. Here. So I'm going to do this thing in bowl real quick to knock out any negative energy and bring in all the positive energy. All right, True Chakra Tarot fam, I want to thank y'all again for joining me for this reading. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, if y'all have not subscribed yet and um, y'all did enjoy it, I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell. It will let you know in the future when I upload uh, more videos like this. And then we'll also let you know when I go live and do readings like this in live time. So, um, and then I also do discounted readings um, at least once a week. So you can kind of get a special on, my, on a reading. And then uh, if you are interested in having a private reading for yourself, everything is in my about section, all the information that you need. So again, I want to thank you all for clicking on the video. Like I said, I hope you'll have a great night and talk to you all soon. Bye.